Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Lisa Thorpe. This is our electro equiscope technician training. And now I'm going to introduce my husband and the founder of Thorpe Institute, John Thorpe. Thank you all for being here. I know it's an investment for you to be here both in your time and the purchase of the electro equiscope. But it's not just about a one-time purchase. This is about changing the face of medicine. This is about supplying a non-drug and non-invasive therapy that is very, very successful in the reduction of chronic pain and disease. <coughs> At one time, it was really only available for the elite and professional athlete, but we're going to change all that. Don't you think it's a little strange that you're diagnosed with an EEG, an EKG, and an EMG. What does the E stand for? Electro. Electromyograph for the muscles. Electroencephalograph for the nerves. We all know about electrocardiograph. Now, I'm sure you all saw that movie as kids called Frankenstein. But how do they bring you back to life if you've got a big major heart attack? What do they use? <laughs> Defibrillator. So if you're diagnosed electrically, you're brought back to life electrically, why aren't you being treated electrically? So now you can be treated electrically. All of nature is electricity. Your body electric. Remember when we were kids and you walk across the carpet and you touched your friend? What happened? You got a shock. So you got a shock. So you discharged yourself into your friend. So your body electric. You're electrical before you're biochemical. And this was all proven beyond a shadow of a doubt in 1991 by two German scientists, Dr. Nair and Dr. Sackman. They developed a patch clamp that could isolate and detect what are now known as voltage sensitive ion channels. And these are little gates that open and close due to the right membrane potential. And these gates are very important because they allow waste product departure from the cell and nutrient intake into the cell. And when you have the right membrane potential, guess what else we do? We enhance ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ATP is the energy of life, electrical. So think of your body as one big capacitor with 50 billion little capacitors inside. And if those little capacitors start to lose their ability to hold charge, they're challenged. And that means that there's not enough positive ions on one side of the non-conducting medium, the dielectric, and there's not enough negative ions on the other side. And if that gets challenged, then that starts to leak, and the first thing would be cellular inflammation. So what we're able to do is we're able to strengthen all the cells in your body. We're able to get in there and infuse charge into the invisible space. We're able to get in there and enhance membrane potential, a word that wasn't even used up until 1991. If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't believe it myself. Because there's a lot of things out there that they're shopping that may or may not be too good for you. We all hear about these commercials. And on Super Bowl Sunday, when they run a commercial that says, if you have opiate-induced constipation, you better have flow free. That means there's 28 million people addicted to opiates. And we're all about the answer. We're all about a non-drug, non-invasive way to deal with the body in an electrical point of view. So the electrical point of view is what we do. We combine Chinese medicine and missile guidance chip technology. So what is an acupuncture point in the body? A highly conductive point in the body. When I needle two points, I'm looking for a little chi, a little goose pimples to run up your body. If I don't see that, you don't have any vital force. This medicine has withstood the test of time. This medicine is 10,000 years old. When you bring in computer chip, scanning, searching, seeking for any cell in your body that doesn't match its memory of normal and it corrects it in milliseconds, this is how your brain responds to an injury. So if I can get in there and change the value of the tissue to how it was before the injury occurred, I change the way your brain is responding to the injury. So I'm able to turn off that inflammatory response because we've just won the war. I shattered my tibia, my fibia, and my femur and was told without a total knee replacement, I would never walk without the use of a cane. A year from the date of the injury, I ran my first triathlon on a leg they said would never bend. 
When I called my orthopedic surgeon and said, I just ran a triathlon on a leg you said would never bend. Now believe me, I had to get in there and pull on the leg to get it to bend because I was like this on the exercise bike. But each day I pulled, I got it a little further, I went into the hot water and the cold water and then I treated myself until one day I was able to make a full rotation and off I went around the lake up in Big Bear, California. And then I said, geez, if I can ride my bike, I wonder if I can run. So my first little bit of running was a shuffling. But I competed in that triathlon, and I finished middle of the pack. And in doing so, I was quite proud of myself. So I called my orthopedic surgeon and said, I just ran a triathlon on a leg you said would never bend. And he said, you did what? You're bone on bone. You have no cartilage. And I said, well, I'm pain free electrically, and my body's responding perfectly. Because if every cell replicates itself every seven years, so I figured seven years from now, because what he also mentioned, he said, you are the stupidest human being that I've ever met. To run on a leg that has no cartilage, you'll be begging me for that knee replacement, and you won't have that good Screen Actors Guild insurance to pay for it. Insurance. So, I continue to run. And now, years later, I'm still pain free. And now I've watched hundreds of others become pain free electrically. And it doesn't matter whether you're a two-legged cell or a four-legged cell. In 2012, when this instrument came out, we took a horse that had never won a race. There's no placebo in a racehorse. We took a horse that lost his first two races miserably by 15 and 17 lengths. He had chronic inflammation in his ankles. I told the trainer's son, let's treat those ankles. Give us 30 days because this horse had a big heart. But he'd always blow up. His ankles would get so inflamed that he couldn't get to the gate. So we treated him for 30 days. We came out at our first race at 43 to 1. They had just paid me $4,500. So I said, let's take a bet on the horse. I'll have another. We crushed the field by six lengths. Very good day, but we had to go to the IRS window to collect our money because they wanted half. The next race, we went from 43 to 1 to 4 to 1. We won by a nose. That qualified us for the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby, we were 15 to 1. Now, I continued to make the same bet all the way through. And at 15 to 1 at the Kentucky Derby, there's many races, but that's the finest two minutes in all the sports. So, we win the Kentucky Derby, and we win the Preakness. Now we're into all the elite and professional athletes. You gotta understand, when I talk about the body electric, we talk about your immune system is based on your body's ability to hold charge. You have one big capacitor, the human body, stores energy. And you got 50 billion little capacitors that are also storing energy. So what we're doing is we're scanning through the body looking for any of those capacitors, those cells that all have the same medium. They have a non-conducting medium, which is known as the dielectric, they have a positive side and a negative side. So we go into the invisible space and we strengthen every cell in your body. We take it from a degenerative state to a regenerative state in a matter of seconds. Once again, no placebo on a racehorse. When you take an NFL athlete like Brandon Oliver, who ruptured his Achilles tendon and was told, you're a year off. We had him game ready in 4.5 months. And he signed a $1.5 million contract with the now Los Angeles Chargers. Another NFL player, Danny Woodhead, tore off his ACL. We had Danny ready in 3.5 months. You can see Danny playing with the Ravens. Just the other night he had a great game after rupturing his hamstring. We had another NFL player that went and worked with him with the Equiscope. He was back in the field. He only missed three games, not the season. So what was only available for the elite and professional athletes through you will be delivered to everyone. This is the new wave of medicine. This is looking at the body in an electrical point of view. And so now we want to have signs pain-free, electrically, first treatment free, and introduce to the world a brand new walk of medicine. Currently the electroequiscope is in every walk of medicine from the neurosurgeon to the veterinarian because it's all about the body's ability to hold energy and your immune system is based on your body's ability to store energy. So this is what we're able to do and we're able to teach you all within a four or five day period, but that's not all. 
we're going to be able to continue to support you and be able to market you to the world as we begin this new phase of medicine, a non-drug, non-invasive phase that first does no harm. Isn't that what the oath the doctors took? First, do no harm. So welcome to the Thorpe Institute. Welcome to your training. God bless you all for being here. And thank you.